Okay, so let's take a look at this coding challenge. Um, here, they are asking us to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit. And they tell us that if you want to convert a Celsius temperature, for example, 30 degrees Celsius to Fahrenheit, you have to multiply the Celsius temperature by 9 divided by 5 and then plus 32. Okay, so in this introduction, I'm not going to solve the problem for you. I'm just going to show you how Free Code Camp is structured uh, so that you can test your own solutions. So I'm going to give a wrong answer here uh, just to show you how Free Code Camp works. Now, I just want to remind you about the last lessons you saw in level three. So in level three, you saw how to use functions. So this is very similar to what you saw in level uh, three. Um, for example, when we use X and Y in the function uh, from the uh, last parts of level three. For example, in level three, we had something like this. We had two arguments, two variables, X and Y. But here, we're only going to work with one variable, just with Celsius, right? Um, again, we're going to use return. So if we want to see the result of our function, we're going to have to use the structure that we saw before. So for example, we can say, we can assign this to result, to the variable result, and then we can console log result here. Now, result is going to say undefined because we are returning this Fahrenheit variable that has no value. So I'm going to give a wrong answer here. I'm going to say, okay, let's say if I want to convert Celsius to Fahrenheit, I need to uh, take my input Celsius, my argument Celsius, and um, add 32, right? So this is the wrong answer, obviously. But what I'm doing to and what I'm doing here is I'm taking Celsius and I'm storing the result in Fahrenheit and then I am returning Fahrenheit. So for example, if I say convert to F30, the answer is gonna be 30 plus 32. And that's exactly what we see here. We see 62, right? Now, if I want to test this answer in the coding challenge, I can take a look at my test cases here. So FreeCodeCamp offers a method to test multiple inputs and see if your answer is correct. So if you pass all of these tests, then that means that your answer was correct and you can move on, right? So if I want to test this answer, I just have to click here on run the tests. And this is going to tell me which ones of the answers are correct. So I can see here that I passed the first test because if I convert to F0, I get a number as a result. So that's the first test and it's correct because if I, if I say convert to F0, I get a number. Even if it's the wrong number, this test will pass because that's the only requirement for this test. But you have to pass all of the tests and we're not achieving that here. So for example, here we have, well, actually for zero, it is 32, so I get this one right as well. Uh, I could, for example, say, um, let's convert 20 Celsius to Fahrenheit, and the answer should be 68. So I might feel that, okay, if I want to convert uh, 20 to 68, maybe I just have to add um, 48, right? So let's say here, maybe this is where I was wrong. I'll change it to 48. And then if I test my answer again, I get this one right, but this one is now wrong, right? So, of course, we need to give an answer that solves all of the test cases for this problem. Uh, again, you can play around with this input number. So, for example, we can say, let's say we want to test the, um, we want to test the last test case, 38 it should be 86, the results should be 86. So we can type in here our test case 30, I mean 30 is the, the Celsius number here, 30, 
and we can see that we get 78, right? So it should say 86, but we get 78, so we can, now we can see how this test case fails, right? And we can do the same thing with the other one. So this one, convert to F minus 10, should give the result 14. So let's add, let's say, minus 10 here. And we get 38. So 38 is different for 14. So we can see how that fails here. This can help you to test different input cases for your answer. Now that you know how to do these tests, um, I'll give you the chance to try to give the correct answer for this problem.